Hey, good morning, Andrew. Thank you very much. I am here at the U.S. Monetary Policy Conference put on by Chicago's Booth School, but it's in New York. And I'm here with Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester. Loretta, thanks for joining us again on Squawk Box. Thanks for having me, Steve. Um, I want to start off right, right away with where the market is right now. There has been a big move in interest rates. Uh, yields are much higher now. So I guess my question to you is, do you see now, is there sufficient tightening in the market for the market to help the Fed affect this policy of cooling the economy and bringing down inflation? Well, we always like to align, you know, with where the markets are. and We don't want to surprise the markets. So the alignment, I think, is, is closer than it was before. But, you know, we're going to set policy to do what we have to do to get back to price stability. So we've been raising interest rates. We've seen some of that working through the economy. We have seen some pressure off the inflation. But inflation remains too high. And as, as you know, coming out of the the meeting last time and the minutes showed earlier this week that we we're going to have to do a little more to get that back to price stability of 2 percent. So I said yesterday there's only one species of Fed official now, a greater or lesser hawk. Where do you put yourself in that, if at all? Um, are you uh, on the high side when it comes to that average or median uh, Fed funds uh, forecast for among Fed officials? of five and an eighth, or are you higher or lower than that? Yeah. So as I always said to you, I'd like to be known as an owl, not a hawk or a dove. But in for any it's, case... For, for, for his wisdom. Or <laughs> right, wisdom. exactly. But it's not up to me to call right. myself that. Um, you know, I see a little more impetus in the inflation measures than my colleagues did, at least in December when we put out the last SEP readings, the Summary of Economic Projections. So I had my funds rate a little bit above the median. Um, in that projection. And I haven't really seen much change in my outlook for the economy since, since that time. So I see in, uh, that we're going to have to bring interest rates above 5 percent. And we'll, we'll figure out how much above. That's going to depend on how the economy evolves over time. But I do think we need to be somewhat above 5 percent and hold there for, for a time in order to get inflation on that sustainable downward path to 2 percent. But it's maybe significant what you're saying is you haven't seen anything in the interim that causes you to change where your dot was in December? No, I think I'm where I was because, remember, I saw a little bit stronger, more in inflation impetus than the median did. And I also think that um, the, uh, the, the labor markets, I'm not really seeing a trade-off between the hot labor market and inflation. I'm really focused on inflation. And what we learned over the last expansion, the pre-pandemic expansion, is that you know, the unemployment rate can be very low without necessarily spurring inflation. So I'm really focused on the inflation numbers. And I don't see that we have to have this trade off necessarily between labor and uh, price stability. In so, fact, I would say I'm greedy. I want to have healthy labor markets and a return to price. My, my colleague Joe Kern wants to ask you a question, but I want to just get one more before before we get to him. Um, the real question I want to ask you is what the heck's going on with the economy? We, we were supposed to be an economy that was it, right now, either in recession or on the way to recession, we printed a half million jobs for January. Um, we had retail sales go through the roof. Is this all seasonal adjustment? Is this economy weakening or is it ignoring the Fed when it comes to higher rates? No, I don't think it's ignoring. I mean, we've <clears throat> seen some of the impact of higher rates. Certainly, if you look at the housing market, right, that's definitely clearly slowing. Right. Manufacturing slowed a bit. Now we have some impetus that s suggests that maybe it's not slowing as fast as we thought. So, you know, if you had to sort of characterize what's happened is coming into this year, there's probably a little bit more underlying strength than a lot of forecasters thought. Um, but there's also some movement, good movement on the, the inflation measures. They are coming down. It's just that the level of inflation is still too high, which is why coming out of our last FOMC meeting, the broad, you know, consensus was among all the participants was that we're going to have to do more, which is why, you know, the statement said ongoing increases. Mm -hmm.